What's up, everybody? It's Trish here, and I'm the community manager slash content manager here at Blowfish Studios, aka the person who brings you the maps of the week and a few other things. So, we are doing something brand new, and this is fish play. We wanted to do something that would let us not only feature your Gunscape maps, but also something that would give you the experience of the game itself. And something that would also let us interact with you guys as well. So we decided to create this series of videos in which we're going to record ourselves playing some of our, our favorite community made maps. And this is where you guys come in. If you haven't noticed yet, last Tuesday, well, Tuesday for us, Monday for some of you, we started doing community playdates. And we said that we were going to use that footage that we got for something else. Well, this is it. If you play with us, you'll probably see yourself in these videos. So check out our playdates, we leave all of the information below and we're really excited to play with all of you guys. If you like this idea, it's the videos or the community playlist, please let us know. We want it to be a weekly series and if there's anything that you would like to suggest, anything that any map that you would like to recommend or anything like that, please leave us a comment or just contact us on social media. We're on Twitter and Facebook and we're gonna leave the links for that below too. And without anything else to say, here's our favorite maps. This map is Omish Shotgun Level 1. Oh my god, shoot him on the dick, shoot him on the dick! Good. And well, it was still called uh, Simple Space Plus Level 1 and it's made by Idlet Edmonte. I... am I pronouncing that correctly? I'm not sure. Anyway, the map is basically about you being in a base and having to find your way around while confronting all kinds of enemies that will appear around you. It's quite hard in the sense that the des it's very well designed and you will probably get lost. It's a little bit of a maze, you have to like wander around a lot and I got lost several times. It was embarrassing. I don't think I did any good at this map, but at least I managed to complete it. This is one of the maps that we played on our community play day, and it appeared on the maps of the week too. It's called SLR Suburbs, and it was created by Stormlord AST or AST. In the co-op version, you get a lot of enemies everywhere. Like seriously, it's just full of enemies, and you have to destroy them all. Well, in the free-for-all version, as you can see, it's more like a neighborhood map. And you have to go around getting weapons to win against your friends. Oh my god, yes, so me there. That was really good. This is Escape Your Fate by Anorexic Buddha. And yep, right, almost killed. And killed, actually killed. I knew it was coming, but that part took me like two to three times and I couldn't find the goddamn lever and advance. Like, I'm just really bad. Uh, this map is part of a campaign, as you can see it has oh, a lot of traps and just a few enemies. But that's what makes it interesting. It almost feels like you're playing a platformer. I'm terrible at platformers, but I think that anyone will enjoy this map. The next map is also by Anorexic Buddha and it's Inca's Last Stand. The map is basically a jungle with a few underground mazes and, well, temples and big guns. You have a lot of big guns, you actually start with a rocket launcher and most of the guns that you're gonna get in the game are 1KO weapons, so that's pretty fun. I think this is one of the maps that we enjoy the most in the community played it. I sucked at it, I'm not a good at aiming or anything. Especially if I have to aim mid air, like here, yeah, it's bad. Next map is Beyond the Dark Depths, Chapter One by Ice Cream Man 1912. This is also an amazing campaign, and we can't wait to play the rest of it. Like the name of the map says, it.
it's quite dark. The map is really dark, which will make you miss some enemies, and that can be quite dangerous. Do you know those maps that you need to wander around to find kits and levers to progress? Well, if you like that kind of thing, you will like this one. And yeah, as you can see, I completely missed a few of these. I was just looking around and it didn't work. It really didn't work. And I was just trying to keep everyone here. Like, trying to be strategic, stay back, didn't really work. Ran out of bullets, so this fight. This is early 80s arcade town VID by Pittsburgh. We love this map. If Gunscape celebrates all shooters, then this map celebrates all arcade games, and in the best way possible, fighting your friends. If you love our arcades and are feeling, maybe feeling a bit nostalgic about like all of the games that you can or might not be playing anymore, then you love this map. It also includes a nice variety of weapons which makes things exciting. I particularly love the rubber chicken. I didn't kill anyone with it, but I had a lot of fun using it. This is the last co-op map of this video, and it's T-Rex Temple but Mr. Swayze. With our two rocking team, we have a few of these temple maps, but they are always fun to play. This one especially, it's like an actual temple, uh, with, you have to avoid traps, you have to solve puzzles, you have a maze to discover, oh and of course, a T-Rex. Come on, give him a butt. Oh god. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, but that was convenient. That was really convenient. So, you just have to like find your way until you find the T-Rex. And there's a few surprises waiting after that. Ready? Last but not least, there's Nuketown by Matt Disney. Nuketown is a replica of the popular Black Ops 3 map with the same name. Like the original, it's a really good multiplayer map with a lot of places to hide. And it also has a few good guns that you have to find. Because Mom has a lot of places to hide guns and you know yourself. And I think you did a little bit better in that in this map, so I might be a bit biased. I enjoyed it a lot. After being uh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. I avoided three three grenades. I'm so good. Anyway. After being a solid mid-table through most of the games, this is the one that I ended up third. So, I like it. Completely biased here, but it's a good map. And that's it! Thanks for watching! We hope you guys have as much fun as we did with these maps, and please send us your favorites! We'll see you next time with more maps! Bye!